Hey guys, Jason Sayers here. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm checking out Bard Kolstad. I hope I just did not butcher that guy's name. <laughs> um, he's the drummer from a band called Le Prus. Again, I hope I didn't butcher that name because I'm not that good at pronouncing it. I'm not sure quite how the name is meant to be pronounced, but I got introduced to this band fairly recently. Um, I'm actually an active member of a group called Nail The Mix, and this was one of the bands that they had in their session. Uh, it wasn't this song, but it was a live performance from the same band, which is how I got introduced to them. And then one of you guys mentioned their name I can't remember which video it was, but you said that I needed to check out this particular video for the song, The Sky Is Red. So that's what we're going to do. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you do not miss another video. Uh, also, nice new addition. Bought a new microphone. Hopefully the audio is a bit better now. Should um, hopefully be a slight improvement. But hey, this is what um, your support helps me do helps me keep funding and doing new videos because i can't get paid for these ones because i'm using copyrighted material you know and you're watching my genuine first time reaction to everything i watch but enough chatter let's get into the video Already that hi-hat technique. Can't work out if that's molar technique he's using there. It's definitely some sort of open-handed technique, but there is a whip. The groove. The vocalist in this band is absolutely insane live. Wow. Oh, hello. Who's this guy? Okay. Okay, wasn't expecting the second drummer in this video. Uh, I don't know who he is, but hey, if you guys know who that is, let me know in the comments below. Groove in this guy's playing is unreal. Okay. I didn't see a stick break then. Did a stick break? Hang on. I'm actually going to go back a tiny bit. I want to see if his stick actually broke or if he just dropped it. <laughs> he is so clean, super clean with those hi hat strokes. What? 
<laughs> this guy is mental. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Uh, if I can remember or find your name from the comment who recommended me to watch this video, I will give you a shout out below somewhere. Um, damn, this guy's musicality behind the drum kit elevates the song to a whole nother level. You know, not even to mention that drum fill he just played. It like it was super quick, super clean. The guy's definitely been practicing almost probably every day, I'm assuming, for his entire life to be able to perform drum fills that clean. Even with the dexterity in there as well. And like the hi hat patterns that he's playing. Super crisp, super clean amazing um he's definitely a hard hitter though this is uh he's already lost one sticker he's i've paused it on him looking like he's uh checking out did i break this one as well uh yeah i'm just gonna keep watching i this guy's amazed me so far yep that's six gone <laughs> I'm loving watching his left hand do those ghost strokes. He's also burying the bass drum beater into the head. I don't know if he's doing that for a particular reason or if it's just what he does. Fantastic dynamic control. That's a really complex pattern. His fulcrum point on his um, right hand move. Sorry, I'm going to keep pausing this one. Um, he's, yeah, the fulcrum point. It seems like when he was playing before, he had the stereotypical fulcrum point. Uh, while he's playing this delicate hi-hat pattern, it seems to have shifted to his uh, middle finger. Um, I've never done that. Um, I've, I've seen some drummers do it in the past. Sometimes it's through choice, but I'm not sure why it's happened. But, I, I, part of me wants to maybe think this guy might be self-taught because uh, there's a lot of things that he's doing in this video that were a big no-no for a lot of the people that train myself and how I teach as well. I, I tend to make sure that people keep an accurate um, fulcrum point at all times and try not to let the, uh, the sticks wander. Um, but yeah probably a creative decision more comfort for him not sure but let's continue with the video using the different sections of the hi-hat for a different timbre effect Very interesting with the left hand with the ghost strokes using all three fingers. That's very good. Oh, that's nice clean right hat strokes again. How loose is that bass drum head, by the way? <laughs> yeah, you hit that right symbol, boy. You hit that right symbol. <laughs> That was incredible. The way he plays those sections, like before, just as I said a, a minute ago, elevate the song, really 
elevate like it goes back to what i was talking to on a normal video talking to talking about on a previous video um the way how drummers have two schools of thought where they will be like acdc i'll just play a standard beat you guys play the songs or the drummer will actually play to the music and elevate accent create a different texture with what all the other musicians are doing and this is exactly what this guy is good at as well i'm pretty amazed but i better stop talking and pausing over the video because uh, we've got a little way to go and uh, i can't wait to see the finale of this I need to get some stacks in my setup. I keep saying it. That China is quite the reach. <laughs> It almost looks like he's struggling to reach that. Very interesting. A little break. Nice little splashes on the eye out. The things he chooses to pick out in accent. His memory for where those um, patterns are is pretty good. They're in a really old place. They're on the upbeat. Oh, interesting camera view. Sorry I'm in the way on the bottom left. I really want to know why he's burying that bass drum beater into the head. And why that bass drum head almost looks finger tight. different elements in this song a lot Again, musicality. 
<laughs> I need a guy like that. I need a guy like that. Definitely. Okay. That's um, quite the impressive song. Okay, I'm going to stop that there because I don't think he's um, going to do any more with that. Uh, well, uh, again, with all these drum reactions, I am genuinely speechless when it comes to that. Uh, the way he was playing so clean, so tight on the hi-hat, uh, a couple of questions though that I had mainly through that video is one burying the bass drum beater um, sometimes can be a musical choice um, if you don't want as much low end but he's just seemed to be doing it almost all the time um, and that bass drum skin was loose like I'm surprised he was actually getting rebound off the head uh, well I suppose some drummers play with rebound off the head like I do uh, maybe he just had a higher spring tension so he didn't need it that much but hey thank you that was a really good video um, if you haven't listened to uh, Leprous again I hope I haven't destroyed that name um, go and check them out they're a fantastic band um, they're live performances are next level they are such an amazing band live um i've seen a couple of their uh videos and mixed as I said, their live track can't actually remember the name of it off the top of my head um but it was on the nail the mix uh because i'm trying to be a music producer at the same time um yeah lost for words once again um thanks for stopping by thanks for checking out another video apologies for the very nasal voice today i seem to have caught a cold typical english weather gives us blistering hot sunshine and then uh, rain the next but thank you for checking the video out hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell icon so you don't miss another video and see you on the next one cheers guys